Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Benke. Today, let's go through some fundamental stuff for Monerica. That's how do you define the variables and some like a uh, common statement. So first of all, I want to talk about some variables. In Monerica, there are multiple categories of variables. One is called a parameter or parameter variables. That it start with the keyword parameter. And define parameter basically some constant uh, value, some variables during the simulation. Another one is called a variable. That this is actually the old unknowns, which means those variables need to be solved by the Monetica solver. Here, for example, I just define real x or real y. The third category is input variables. Basically, just start with keyword input, real x or output, real y. That's for the input variables and the output variables. And another one is the time. It's a built-in variable or in, invisible variable that you can directly use it in your model that without define. For example, I got some in a variable y equal to sine time. Another one is the constant variables. The constant variable that's some very uh, constant, uh, constant value. For example, the pi equal to this. Here I define a pi, the value for the pi. Okay, that's for the variables. And next is the vectors or matrices. So in Modelka, there are vectors or matrices. For example, here in this model, model test, first I define a vector with three elements. Then I define another vector, but in a different format. That is dual vector with three elements. Then here is that a 2D matrix. I have three rows and three columns, three by three. Sometimes you can define, you know, if you don't know the size of your matrix or vectors, you can use dynamic way. For example, you can define a matrix or vector here by this way without specifying the size. But when you use that, you have to specify the size. Another one, for example, if I got a Modeca, I got a pin, I want to make it into a, a vector of four pins. I can simply do this way. So for example, for this vector, for the equation section, I had to specify those values. So in Modeca vectors or matrix, they start with one instead of zero, instead of like zero in like, a, for example, in Python programming or C or C++ programming, Usually those are like a array or list, they start with zero, but in Modelica they start with one. So that's why you need to pay attention. The next one is the Modelica statement called if statement. Here I defined a model that I called if test. So basically the structure is like that. It's the structure is if something, if some condition is satisfied, then it has a keyword then, then do something. Else, if something, then you do another thing. And else, you do a third thing, then you end if. So you need to make sure that you have this end keyword here. So that's basically the if statement. The next one is the for loop. The for loop is very, very similar to Python, but a little bit different. For example, here, remember the for loop always start with one. So here's the for i in i e e to k loop is the keyword loop. Then if this is for a single for loop, the second case here is for like a nested loop, for example. Here I have a for loop. I have a matrix, for example, two D matrix. Then each matrix has some index. So I can do this way for the nested for the next digit. For loop. Okay, that's the for test. Okay, in Modelica, there is another special statement called a when. So, for example, the when is that when when those condition, for example, x bigger than zero, then something happens here. So basically, that's a very special, so very special like a, a statement in Modelica. 
Okay, I think I cover all of those uh, major variables or statements in Malacca. Hopefully, I can see you in my other videos. Thank you.